A few days ago, Brandon, you were at the NBA Combine now working out for the Charlotte Hornets. This is your first workout? Yeah, it is. It's my first one. Uh, I got about maybe a week or so off, and then I'll be off to my next one. Got my pro day coming up on Thursday, so just you know, looking forward to getting some rest these next few days and some working. Kind of getting one under your belt. Does it feel good? Kind of getting ready for the next month. I'm sure you can do more and more. Yeah, uh, yeah, man, definitely. Um, you know, I've been really um, excited for this workout, so um, I feel like that this one is, uh, you know, going to help. You know, get me get me more comfortable for the future ones, and just looking forward to the next ones. You started your career at San Jose State for two years, and then kind of really exploded at Gonzaga. What allowed your game to kind of take a jump this past season? I'd probably just say I worked really hard that uh, year off that I had. Um, you know, also just playing uh, in, in that system and with the uh, players that were on my team really helped open up my, my game and kind of helped me uh, show off my talents a, a bit more than I could at San Jose State. You were third in the nation in blocks this year, only about 6'8". What is it that kind of allowed you to be such a good rim protector? Is it athleticism, timing, kind of a combination of both? Yeah, it's uh, both. Um, you know, I can jump really high and I can jump quick. And also my timing is something that I haven't really seen that much from, from other players. So. Um, my timing is something that really helps uh, separate me. You come from Gonzaga, which is at least not as much watched on this part of the country, but is a well-known program. For those that don't know your game, what is it that's going to be that's going to define you as you get ready to begin your NBA career? Um, I'd probably say it'll start off with uh, you know just like defense, uh, you know blocking shots, locking up players. Um, in the offense, I'm a really really uh, you know high high basketball IQ player. Um, I'm not going to be forcing up shots, but you know um, if I you know have to score, I will score. Um, and the pick and roll, I'll be really good too, and I feel like I'll be good in transition. Brandon, the way that the power forward position is evolving these days, you know, into more, I mean, so much more is expected of force these days kind of as a perimeter player. Yeah. I just wondered how you are going to adapt to that sort of thing. Yeah, I mean, it's just just going to come with, you know, working on my perimeter skills. So I've been working on my shot a lot. Um, I've been working on my dribbling skills. Um, so I just hope that, you know, teams see that more. And um, that's something I'm going to keep on, on getting better at. So this is really just the start of it. There's still lots of strides I can take, and I've taken lots of great strides. So I'm definitely looking forward to getting better at that. You're in a little – I mean, so many of these draft candidates at this point, you know, they're – they're a year in school, and then they're in the draft. You obviously took a different path. Yeah. I just wondered if that comes up much in conversation with the teams, and sort of what your, um, you know, what your what your point of view is on what actually going through the, you know, a fairly, you know, solid four years of college, being around college basketball, did for you. Uh, yeah, I feel like it just kind of helped me, you know, get even better, really. Um, Experience-wise, too, I feel like I got, you know, obviously more than players only played one year did or do. Um, no, I just feel like that I'll be, uh, you know, pretty much ready to play um, right off the bat. Um, there's some players that are going to have to go through, like, a longer stage than I am until they're ready to play. But um, I feel like that just all of the uh, ex experience that I've got is going to really come in handy. The Hornets have been really open you know, both Borrego and Kupchak in that they were not happy with their interior defense yeah. this year. I just wondered if that came up in conversation and what you think you can you can do to contribute to that. They were, you know, they were in the middle of the league in points allowed in the paint, and by the end of the season they were had dropped significantly. Yeah. Made that that much worse. Uh, I mean, kind of like we've like talked about earlier. I was third in the nation in blocking shots. Um, something I'm going to bring to any team. Mm -hmm. That's something I'm going to keep on getting better at too. Um, as I get stronger and as I feel like that there's room to jump higher. So um, I feel like that I'll be able to block. Any Working out for the Charlotte Hornets today. You guys kind of have a long workout. What were kind of your takeaways from today's things? Uh, first, it's a pleasure being here. I appreciate all the coaches and assistants just bringing me in and making me feel home. I think that the intensity of the workout got me more in shape. Uh, it really, I really focused on my mental game more as my physical game. So I think I could take more mental stuff away from this game, like coming off screens and just being patient with my jump shot. You're from Philadelphia, went to school in Philadelphia, St. Joe's, kind of a smaller school. What are some things that people that don't know that kind of define your game? Uh, I'm a shooter. Uh, I play with both hands. I'm really good with my left hand and right hand, shooting wise. Um, I, I can defend really well, and I can get my teammates really good looks. Is this your first workout you've done? This is my fifth, actually. Fifth workout. Yeah. You feel like these workouts are a great opportunity to showcase some of the stuff that maybe you weren't asked to do in college? Yes, sir, of course, of course. I feel like me coming to these workouts really shows, like you said, like more of my game and what I can do and some things, where I, some things that I need to work on. 
draft workout with the Charlotte Hornets. You're from right down the road at Clemson. What was it kind of working out for, I guess, more or less the hometown team today? It was pretty cool. I got to enjoy the experience today, playing against great players. Uh, Brandon, he's a hell of a player. I'm pretty sure he's projected to go high. I'm familiar with Markel and the other three guys, and um, I'm excited. I'm excited for the long journey and the experience, and um, I appreciate you guys' organization bringing me in. Did it help kind of playing against some guys that you were familiar with? I know Markel playing at NC State and Clemson, did it help at all, or is it, you know, not as much? I think it helps a lot. Uh, playing against guys you're familiar with, and I've been watching film uh, over Markel for years, and, you know, um, I've watched Brandon play on TV a couple of times, and I got to play against Malik Yabro at uh, Portsmouth. So, um, you know, being, a, being able to play against guys that you have a familiar feel with, it kind of gives you an advantage in workouts like these. So I liked it. I like my advantage a lot today. You said what you, position do you think you translate to in the pros? I think I'm positionless. Uh, I think I'm an athlete that can guard all positions. Uh, I'm a pass first player. Uh, I like getting guys open, and I just like doing my job, playing my role. Playing at Portsmouth kind of help get your feet wet in this postseason draft process, getting go against some of the senior guys. You get ready to do more and more workouts the next couple months. For sure, yeah. Portsmouth was a it was a great experience for me. Uh, I got to go out there and play with a great group of guys. We lost one game. We wanted to win the entire thing, but um, for the most part, the experience was well. And uh, Jordan Murphy is an AAU teammate of mine, so being able to play on the same team with him was a pretty good, pretty good feeling. Those who don't know your game so much, what is something that kind of stands out that you were happy that you were able to showcase today? Um, my ability to, to, to pass and dribble, along with my primary skill set of rebounding and blocking shots, uh, being able to show that I can take care of the ball on the offensive end and get guys open, I think that that helped me out a lot. Strategy made defensively, do you think that was something you were able to showcase today? Uh, yeah, I mean, I went up against Marco Johnson from NC State. He's pretty quick, he's athletic. Uh, I think I did a pretty decent job on him. Anybody else? You said this is your first one. What was it like being here and starting out in Charlotte? Does that kind of give you a little bit more confidence starting here somewhere you're kind of familiar? Yeah, it was really, it was a really good confidence builder. Uh, like I said, I was here last year. I'm really familiar with the city. Um, I'm familiar with the Hornets. I'm um, up here all the time watching the games and stuff. So it was really good to start off the summer like this. What kind of feedback are you getting? Have you gotten anything today? And, and as you go forward in this process, what do you think is going to be most important for you? Uh, I mean, I haven't got any feedback today. Uh, not yet. I think I'll probably talk to the coaches after this. But I mean, moving forward, I think my biggest thing is just being myself, uh, showcasing what I can do, and also showing the things that I wasn't able to show in college, showing the NBA guys that I can do certain things on the floor. Like what? Uh, like not turning the ball over. I mean, I was negative assist to turnover ratio this year, which is extremely bad for a point guard. So I just want to show teams that I can handle a team, I can run a team, I can handle the ball, and also that I can do other things. I can do all that stuff while I'm scoring the ball, which is really what I'm known for. Oh, um, do you have any other workouts planned? Uh, I have a couple planned. Not really. I don't have a lot of dates set yet, but I have Phoenix coming up and I have the Knicks coming up pretty soon. When you signed with Charlotte. Did you see yourself going all this way and having workouts with the Charlotte Hornets? Uh, to be honest with you, no, I didn't. I mean, when I signed with UNC Charlotte back in, this, what was it, the spring of 2015, uh, I was just happy to get a Division One scholarship, man. But I just worked at it. I kept working. And eventually, I kind of worked my way into the position I am now. So I'm grateful to be here. I'm blessed to be here. Like I said, I'm just looking forward to, for it to all start, to see where it takes me. What do you think is the best asset you bring to the next level? Um, I'm a very heady player. Um, I, could, I feel like I can do a lot of different things. I could play both guard positions. Um, I'm durable. I've been fortunate enough to not endure any tough injuries. I mean, I started every game but three games in college. I didn't miss any games, so that's not a problem. Um, I'm a high character guy. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's going to be hard to find somebody that has something bad to say about me as far as my character goes. And I mean, I'm just, I feel like I have confidence in myself. I feel like I'm a really good basketball player and I can help really a lot of teams do different things on the floor. Malik, welcome. Working out for the Charlotte Hornets today. What's kind of your takeaways uh, from today's workout? Um, just a lot of uh, shooting, uh, making sure that uh, I'm on pace, uh, in good shape, making sure that, uh, I mean, everything's right, learning, learning just the basic stuff, new stuff from NBA that uh, it's not going on in college, for, to be honest. You come from a kind of a smaller school in Illinois State. For those that haven't seen your game, what's something that sticks out about it? Uh, very versatile, um, long, athletic. Um, I really just make plays for other most of the time. Um, that's what I do best: uh, getting people open and um, pushing the ball and playing defense uh, at one, two, three positions.
you feel like you did a good job showcasing those attributes today? Uh, yeah, um, I'm going through a little injury, but um, yeah, I, I think I've showcased it uh, at a good at a good level. So um, I'm just trying to make sure that I stay on stay on pace and get get in better shape and keep on developing. You started at St. Louis, did your first years at St. Louis. How did transferring kind of elevate your game a little bit? Or um, well, yeah, I um, played like a four, three, four at St. Louis, and I was like 240. But uh, at St. Louis, I mean at Illinois State, I, tr- I transferred and um, I lost about 30 pounds. I was like 215 playing, um, now I'm 220. So uh, it elevated my game because he, he let me get a chance to come off the pick and roll, and I was on offense a lot. So uh, I just gradually just changed my game into like a point guard, two guard, and made sure that I played defense and um, just, made, just made everybody better around me. Now, is there anything that you were able to showcase in the game that will help you translate your game to the NBA? Yeah, just defensively, being able to guard bigger, more athletic guys, and uh, showing that I can stay in front of them, contest shots is something that you know I've been working on. Yeah, how much are you enjoying these uh, draft workout experiences? It's awesome. This is my first one actually. We've got some more scheduled, but uh, it was cool seeing the the front office people and meeting Coach Borrego and um, just working out with NBA coaches. It was, it was fun. Now, is there anything in particular that you're working on in your game that you wanted to showcase in front of James Borrego? Like I said, it's defensively, just staying in front of guys. Um, I think I know I can shoot and, and facilitate well. It's just you know being able to guard more athletic people. How do you feel like you were able to showcase your game today in some of these intense workouts? Yeah. I mean, it's tough. Uh, Frankie's a good player. Yeah. Um, we're, we're actually doing pre-draft together right now. Um, so our agent called us last night, late last night, and said maybe a couple of guys dropped out or something like that. So they had us in. So I mean, it's just it's a blessing being able to be here uh, and get this type of opportunity. I know there's a lot of people that would love to be in my shoes and doing this stuff. So it's a blessing. I'm, I'm excited to be here for sure. Anything in particular in your game that you wanted to showcase to help translate in the NBA? Uh, yeah, defensively, for sure. Um, I think people know I can shoot it uh, but I think the biggest question for me coming into the league or whatever I do next is is my athleticism and my defense and stuff like that so how much are you enjoying these uh, draft workout experiences I mean it's incredible I mean like I said there's been I'm sure there's a ton of people that would love to be in my shoes um, so uh, so I'm grateful for sure but then again I'm not gonna stop working now when you come into these workouts is there anything that you're focusing on particular to, that you wanted to showcase that people may not have been able to see in highlights or tapes or anything like that yeah I mean like I said my defense I mean off ball defensively I get caught some so that specifically in, in my communication as well uh, is a big part for me that I want to showcase to, to teams and scouts and stuff like that. So. And just talk about like having James Borrego sitting on the side and he, him being able to talk to you guys mid-workout. Just anything uh, with his assistant coaches that he's been able to motivate you through your workouts? Yeah, I mean, he's he's, he's obviously a great coach and uh, he uh, he's just talking about how he knows how tough it is just going one-on-one and stuff like that. So I mean, it's good to see his face um, and talk to him and kind of show what you can do in front of him and stuff. So yeah, it's, it's definitely a blessing. Markel Johnson working out from NC State, working out for the hometown Hornets. What was uh, today's workout like? Um, it was a uh, good workout, a lot of uh, shots, a lot of transition stuff. You know, it was good. You worked out for the Hornets last year, too? No, I never worked out for the Hornets. I, never, I didn't declare last year. What, uh, what was some of the things you're trying to showcase at today's workout, you feel like? Um, that I can shoot, um, you know, just I can come off screens, um, you know, make the right plays, just um, – you know, get downhill and, and just make make the winning plays. And you feel like you did exceptionally well today. They were kind of standing out. It was kind of a it felt like kind of a longer workout today. Yeah, I mean, I, I think I did okay today. Um, could have been better. You were here for ACC tournament. What's it like to now be back in completely different circumstances and pressures of, of a different magnitude? Um, it's a blessing. Uh, it definitely is. Um, you know, from just just playing here like a couple couple months ago and now just being being able to uh, get a workout i mean it's, it's definitely a blessing is this your first one no it's my second second one yeah oh who else um no matter of fact this is my third i had the atlanta hawks and brooklyn nets and then uh, now this is my third one